Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna get glam in a hurry because I'm having the kind of day where I just do not feel like fussing around with 10,000 steps and 10,000 products. And if you ever take a peek in the description box of any of my videos, I always list what I'm wearing. And a lot of the time I'm guilty of wearing like two lip liners, a lip gloss and a lipstick and three things in my brows. And I can get very, very detailed and carried away. Today, what I wanna focus on is being a little bit more minimal. I'm gonna to kind of guide you through what steps I skip and how I maximize my time to get not just the no makeup makeup look, but a more glamorous, finished, polished, you know, a more ooh ah wow type of a look in a hurry. So we're just going to hop right in. And as a bonus, I am using only drugstore products. So everything here is not crazy expensive. And these are all Tati approved products that I absolutely adore. We're gonna fix this face right now because she needs some makeup. All right, let's start out with some primer from Monistat. A lot of you guys have been tweeting me recently and I went and repurchased uh, this just for this video actually, because I used to use this back in the day and then there was conversation about, wait, who puts Monistat on their face? Like who's doing that? Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, that's gross. This is a celebrity makeup artist secret and a lot of celebrities that you might see on the red carpet. Uh, they're maybe using this on their face. This has a dimethicone powder finish. It is excellent at filling in pores, lines, and allows your foundation to glide right on. I had forgotten about it for a while because I've been using Tarte and nothing else. And you know, you guys kind of stirred up the conversation again, so thank you, because I like this. Moving on from there, I am gonna take a little bit of Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I'm also taking a sponge from LA Girl. This is a pretty gosh darn good sponge. I like this, it has a nice edge right here that you can work in powders underneath the eye, and I have been enjoying it. So we're keeping things as affordable as possible, and that is the goal, not to spend too much money on the face or time. So I'm just going to blend this in. All right, hopping straight into concealer, we're going to an old favorite. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind, and this is the neutralizer. It has a nice yellow tone to it. I'm just going underneath the eye, same sponge. I do like to take some of the excess that's on the sponge and just kind of pat it into my eyelid to give a little bit of a base. It's quick to do, why not? Cancels out some of the veins and provides a nice smooth base for everything to blend on top of. And we are being fast by using the same sponge yet again. We're going straight into a little loose powder. This is the Cody Air Spun Pow Powder in Naturally Neutral. We're going underneath the eye a little bit heavy, but then kind of patting the powder in. Because not only do we want the makeup to be on our face in a hurry, but we want it to last all day. And if things look really powdery straight away and you look in the mirror and you're like, oh wow, powder central. Um, do not fear it, your skin will warm up to this and it will only look better and better. And then at the end, if you use a good setting spray, you will notice that your skin will look the right amount of natural and dewy. So do not be alarmed with this powder initially. All right, the next step is to bring some color back to the skin because we're pretty much just blanked out and we are going to apply a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is such a great bronzer. I really, really love this. I'm gonna take a Sonia Kashuk brush, just go in here a little bit, tap off some of the excess and start back almost like I'm contouring. I'm brontouring, I think that's what people call it. When you're just kind of making both steps, the same step, just kind of going on the temples, warming up the forehead, adding a little shape. This doesn't have to take a long time. Like when I am actually just getting ready and cruising through these steps really quickly, I can make it happen in 10 minutes. Another thing I really love to do when I am doing quick makeup is minimizing the use of a ton of products. So I'm also gonna take my bronzer and a crease brush. This is a Morphe Y17, and I'm just gonna fluff this in the crease. It's gonna give a nice uniform look with the rest of the face and add just a little bit of dimension and depth, and it's just so fast to do this, but it has such a nice effect. And then you can go ahead and take whatever excess is on your brush and just kind of go underneath the lower lash line ever so slightly, 
bam, done. Okay, moving on to highlight, which really makes everything just look so much better and healthy. And we are going to be using a palette from Sleek Cosmetics. This is the Cleopatra Kiss palette. And I'm gonna go into this kind of champagne shade on the bottom. This packs a punch, and that's actually what I want for this fast glam. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on a bunch of product. I want the product that I'm using to show up and look gorgeous. So we're gonna go right on the high points of the cheek and just really add a lot of glow there. Down the bridge of the nose. And if you want to take it to kind of another level, you can go ahead and dampen your brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of Infallible Setting Spray from L'Oreal, go back into the same shade and just really hit kind of the center of where we place down that color. Go ahead and take that excess on your collarbones, on your shoulders if they are exposed, and then it looks like you really tried hard, but that just took me three seconds. Okay, I am gonna create a uniform look. You know, we put a little bit of the bronzer in the crease. I'm gonna do the same thing with the highlighter. I'm just gonna take my fingertip and just press this into the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and skip liner altogether, throw on some mascara, and <laughs> we are going with the Essence Mascara. So many of you are tweeting me pictures of this, and you are tweeting Tati approved, or hashtag Tati made me do it, and I love it. When you guys love a product that I have recommended, it just makes me so happy. Uh, so keep those tweets coming. I need to find a lash curler. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was swatching so much glitter this morning that I feel like before I filmed, I was picking pieces of glitter out of my hair. I feel like I still have it all over my arm. I feel like a chunk just went into my eyeball. Uh, so if you see random pieces of glitter, it is from a different video. We're still kind of getting through that mess. All right, going in with some mascara, top and bottom lashes. I am gonna go in with false lashes just because I think it's the quickest, easiest way to really look like you have a full glam look without spending 20 minutes blending out eyeshadow and another 10 doing a winged eyeliner. This can be pretty quick to just kind of pop on and looks like you tried a lot harder than you did. I'm gonna try out these Ardell 812s. I have never tried these. This, we're living dangerously right now because uh, sometimes lashes look really horrible on me, so let's just hope. Another good option, and these ones I do love, this is the Demi Wispies from Ardell. Those are also really good. Do we like them? Do we not? I feel like that might be just a little bit too much. Eh. Let's just go with the old favorite. I have the full-on value pack here, so these ones I don't even have to trim. They actually fit my eye quite nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these puppies on and I will be right back. P.S. I did already do my brows. No, I did not wake up with them done perfectly. I wish that that was my life, but it's not. Um, what I did use is a brow pencil from Maybelline. I'll do an insert on it. Really fantastic. I didn't have to use anything else, just this one pencil, so it worked out great. I love these lashes. I always forget how much I love these lashes. They go on in a snap. Even if you're a beginner, Ardell lashes, the Demi Wispies, they look good on almost every eye shape, and it's very quick to just pop them on, and they look pretty natural, but they give your eyes just kind of a nice eye-opening effect. Now, what we're going to do from here is, of course, put on a little lip color. If I am not doing a ton with my eyes, I'm not doing a wing liner, I'm not doing a lot of color, I definitely want something fun to stand out. So that doesn't mean you have to do like a deep vampy color or a red. You can do something more neutral, but maybe kind of amped up a notch. So I'm gonna take this shade from Pixi. This is one of their liquid lipsticks. This is the Matte Last Liquid Lip in Evening Rose. I love this shade, it is gorgeous. Um, it has a nice kind of diamond shaped doe foot applicator. These are very easy to apply. I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of blush. This is from Milani. This is the Powder Blush in Tea Rose. It's a little dusty, but trust me, it's a great blush. Do a quick little mist to make sure that your hard work and every piece of effort that you put into this fast glam stays looking good all day long. 
and this is the completed quick glam look. Now compared to something that would take me 45 minutes to do, I think this is a lot quicker, faster. You're not using a ton of products. You know, we multi-purposed the highlighter and the bronzer and just really kind of went through things, skipped out on lip liner, skipped out on eyeliner. And by doing those few shortcuts, you of course save time, but you still end up looking like you did your makeup and you're polished and you're ready for whatever the day will bring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more drugstore tutorial type videos like this, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. I know I ask every single video, but it really does help me out and I appreciate it. And I do always hope that you enjoy these. So uh, I hope you're having a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.